fast forward on this point, the ultimate agenda that we are looking at that this enemy is pushing is depopulation. We have to get this through our mind. Mm. That way we can remove the emotion from it. Take mm. the emotion out of it, look at Very it for logical. what the purpose is. Just yeah. be logical about this. Mm -hmm. What type of government would encourage men being with men, women being with women, and remove the ability to procreate? What kind of government would inspire such a thought? Now, before anyone says, well, people who are same-sex and still procreate, no, you can't. I'm talking about you cannot have sex and have a child. Right. Knock it off. I'm not talking about artificial insemination. I'm not talking about any of that. No, no, no. I'm talking about literally a woman cannot get another woman pregnant. A man cannot get a man pregnant. A man does not have a womb. Let's knock it off. Let's right. be serious about this. True. What kind of government would encourage such a thing? A government that wants to get rid of you, but wants to get rid of you in a way where you will accept it and where you will volunteer to do it yourself. Mm. They don't want these people on the planet no more. These people, I'm talking about three to four billion human beings on the planet, mm -hmm. they don't want. According to the National Security Study Memorandum 200 under Dr. Henry Kissinger, the 32nd Secretary of State under President Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford, he stated, quote, depopulation should be the highest priority of U.S. foreign policy towards the third world, end quote. But they had 13 foreign countries that they listed and said, these are the countries that we are going to push for our same-sex policy, adoption, same-sex ideology, same-sex everything. And they pushed it on all of those countries and then they started pushing it here domestically as well. They want to get rid of over three to four billion human beings on the planet. Y'all gotta, that's the, that's really what the foundation of this thing is. Mm -hmm. But too many people are caught up in the emotion of it. Well, I want to do this. Population thing? Because I, from when I, when I hear about stuff like that, a lot of people say like, the, the world's population could fit in Texas alone. Like, that you know what I mean? is a fact. So so how is there overpopulation in that in that sense? It's a it's lie. Resources. It's a lie. Well, they, then they'll say resources, right? Because mm -hmm. you have roughly 29 okay. million useful square miles mm -hmm. on the planet, right? 29 right. million square miles of useful land. Okay. If the majority of people can fit in Texas, the majority of people on the planet, literally, we're talking about the roughly 8 billion human beings yeah. in Texas. And if you've ever driven through Texas, you know that's not too crazy to believe, all right? Because you've been yeah. through this, a bunch of opened, open land, right? right. Um, then the question becomes, wait a minute, so are we really overpopulated? Mm -hmm. Because Hillary Clinton was saying overpopulation. Henry Kissinger, overpopulation. President Jimmy Carter with Global 2000, overpopulation. It was a lie, a damn lie. And they knew it was a lie, but they wanted to push that and then get the people to be programmed to believing it so that the people can push it on each other, attack each other. Same thing they do with the shots. Boom, boom, boom. They start going in on each other. Extra, yep. Oh, bro. And then that's when you get everything from, from abortion to vasectomies to like everything to prevent you from procreating. You sound crazy. You don't want your existence to live on. Mm -hmm. And you think that's a benefit to that? Mm. Who put that thought in your head and why they want to get rid of the majority of people? Why at this point? Because the majority of people are no longer being controlled. This social media platform was a gift and a curse mm. for both the people and the government. The government created it and established it so that they could spy on the people for the vast majority. You're talking about way back before MySpace with something called Six Degrees. You're talking about way back then where they were using social media you know, to to let you get around people and start to find who was who and all that and photo yeah. bucket. So we had to put our photos on and put mm -hmm. upload MySpace. See, Tom ain't never did this, dude. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Tom. Okay, all right. So <laughs> MySpace. And, and I think MySpace really tracking your, 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 your data like that, or were they? They weren't, no, nowhere near <laughs> Not until legal. after 9-11, 2001. And that's actually in chapter two of my book where I break down all of that, the right. history of the social media platforms, which policies in the Patriot Act, you name it all the way down, right to the 9-11, how they started to infiltrate, how they started to, you know, sneak peek search and all, all that kind of stuff, bro. Yeah. But again, depopulation is the goal. That's, that's what we have to look at. So when you're looking at the trans thing, you're looking at the drag stuff, all that, you're dealing with a lot of people, which again, by the way, man, it's a lot, it's a lot that goes into this topic. You have a group called Gays Against Groomers, all right? This is a group that has over 20 locations in the United States. These are all people who are either gay, lesbian, bisexual, who are fighting against what this government is pushing. Mm. Using the LGBT. Right. They ain't with none of it. 
They're like, we ain't with none of this stuff that y'all pushing. We ain't with the restroom stuff. We, what the hell are you doing being half naked around children? What's wrong with you? You're a mm -hmm. pedophile. You got these gay folks calling out just pedophiles mm -hmm. because the pedophiles are using the gay movement like they did way back then. They could be lying. We don't know. They, they hey. just walking in the, the dressing room. Come on, bro. Dropping their drawers in front of young ladies. Bro. Come on. Bro, you okay? Do you remember which jails they want to go into now? Like, <laughs> pick it and choose, like. Bro, mm -hmm. you have men. Over two hundred and fifty men who call themselves women who are currently in jail have petitioned to be transferred to women's prisons. Mm -hmm. You have a number of them that so far they have been successful at it. Oh yeah. They now they're trying that. to figure out how these female inmates are getting pregnant. Come on. Mm, yeah, yeah. Come on. Like, no, no. Like let's just. It's sick. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Right. Knock it off. Like it's it's, it's it's just stop. Right. And again, we got to go back to the enemy. Because if you get caught up looking at the people, yeah. then you're going to be too busy arguing and fighting the people. Mm -hmm. And rightfully so to a degree. Like some people, you got to be like, Pops, sit, yo, sit down. Mm -hmm. All right, what you doing? Chill out. Mm -hmm. You can't be around my baby. Nope, not my child. Go over there. Right. Okay? So like some people have to get that, that hard love. Mm -hmm. Boom. But the enemy is always the one puppeteering and controlling this. Satan is, is doing his job. Right. So if we don't have the smoke for the system, I never thought I would see the day where the White House would have the LGBT flag hanging with the trans flag and all the other stuff, the child predator flag, all that from the actual capital, right there in front of the White House. It's just two, three weeks ago. No, I, I mean, that. like... Yeah, I didn't know that either. What? Oh, man. Y'all need make sure you put that up on the screen. <laughs> Brother, I'm telling you now, <laughs> when that happened, do you know the world is watching us? Yeah. Do y'all you, know, you, know you know the world is watching America, yeah. right? Yeah, they talking sure. shit, too. Oh, man. They, they looking because... You know, America has been the bully of the world yeah. for years, been the bully, using her military might to oppress and suppress. You're talking about over 700 military bases that are currently occupying different nations all over the world. And they're looking like, yo, men, you're men or women, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, hey, look, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> y'all got to look at it from a military type of perspective. Yeah. You're looking at these foreign nations who've been waiting for some get back. Mm. You invaded my nation. You killed my, my, my women, my children. You bombed us for no reason. Literally, 20 years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. So all your men now, they, they women, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, just, right? Okay, all right, so they women? Mm. Okay. Oh, so you're pushing not to make your men stronger, but to now say, hey, you're, you can be a woman if you want, boom, boom. Okay, so we're pushing the gay stuff, pushing, oh, okay. Mm. The number one priority is LGBT rights. <laughs> okay, cool. Like, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. yeah. they look at, and they are, they are fortifying. They, mm -hmm. they exercising. They're working out hard. They're training. Because they're waiting for that point where they are able to then become the big dog themselves. You're talking about China. You, do you know about BRICS? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, okay. They're, they're not, these nations are not playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're not playing, and they said, "Oh wow, America, your priority is to have men chop off their penises and testicles." Wow, good. Keep going. Right. Keep going. <laughs> right. I'm so serious. I'm looking like I don't know about y'all, but I'm cool with my masculinity. I'm gonna keep working out and exercising mm -hmm. because now it's a it's a war type of environment and atmosphere that's brewing. So while everybody's pushing, you know, sex this and trans this and blah 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 emotion, I'm I feel like this and all that insanity. Other nations is looking like y'all crazy, so we about to go ahead and get ready, mm -hmm. right? To to be to be the big dog now. Mm -hmm. um, and I know again we we went around a lot in this topic, but there there. is a lot in it. Yeah. Last point I'm gonna mention real quick before you delve into another side of this: Uganda um, passed a law where they said if you identify as LGBTQ and all that, you going to jail. Yeah, mm -hmm. now, a lot of folks, you know, that I that I've spoken to, a part of that community was like, man, Reese, that's wrong. You know, see see what I'm saying? It's like. That's Africa. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Kamala tried to come over there and try to regu oh, yeah, regulate God. and try to like, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> Embarrassment. Yeah. She went over there with her Timberland boots on. Embarrassment. Yeah. You are... <laughs> okay. Anyway, Kamala's a whole other... <laughs> <laughs> Her name was on the paperwork when I went to jail. Oh, yeah? Oh, no, please. Uh, I mean... Anyway, but that's, uh, yeah. that's not why I'm yeah, saying right. that. But yeah. you're not going to go into the historical target of your colonizing ancestors to try to recolonize in a modern time but dress it up as democracy. Why aren't you accepting the same sex? And they're like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, oh, they're looking at you like, are you sick? Uh, you do know your grandparents did that already. Uh, they came and forced homosexuality on us. They came and forced us to accept Jesus Christ 
when the J didn't even exist to the 1600s in the language, but another topic. Mm-hmm. You forced all that on us. You doing it again? Do you not read history? Like they pissed. They like who? I mean, not only is it disrespectful, but you don't realize you're trying to get them to accept an ideology that ends with no procreation. So you want me to kill myself? This is what they're saying. You want me to kill myself, but you call it love? Mm-hmm. No, love is a procreative idea. Love doesn't mean life stops. That's not love. That's hate. So you want me to endorse? Hatred. Now, again, a lot of people in LGBT, we love y'all, so don't get it twisted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We love y'all. Y'all family. You know, I got family who was a part of that, but they agree. They like, we ain't with all that. That's how you need to separate the difference. Is it the LGBT pushing it or is the government pushing it through the LGBT? Right. And mm-hmm. that's where people have to look at this whole situation. Because mm-hmm. the majority of people in LGBT ain't with none of this stuff for the vast majority. All these pride parades was a bunch of naked, old, nasty white men. Mm-hmm. For the majority, <laughs> butt naked running around children. Y'all, I don't know if y'all had some in New York. I would assume you did. Probably. Uh, yeah, no, no, like, I'm just saying that. Like, yeah. I wasn't out of none of them, right? But I'm <laughs> saying on, on the internet, it was showing, <laughs> right. it was like every single one of them, city by city, state by state, yeah. majority. Old naked white men. Why? Because that is their culture. You can get mad if yeah, you're white and you man watching this, but that's your culture. Learn your history. <laughs> Seriously, learn your history. Mm-hmm. Learn about pederasty, which what you call pedophilia now. Mm-hmm. Right. It's the ancient Greco-Roman art of man-boy loving called pederasty. That came from Europe. Mm. And they brought it over here. See, again, it's a lot of... It, it gets 